Well, there are a number of problems with the RNA world, and I'm happy to speak to them all in the question and answer time. I have an extensive chapter about this in the book. It's interesting to note, for example, that Christian de Duve and other people who are very much in the forefront of origin of life studies are now saying that the, we now need a pre-RNA world because the RNA world is so fraught with difficulty. But for the purposes of my talk, I want to just highlight one of those difficulties, and it is, again, an information problem. The RNA world envisions an RNA molecule capable of copying itself. The backstory on that is that and, uh, they're called ribozyme engineers. Scientists are working very hard to try to get RNA to do the things that we hope it would do if the RNA world hypothesis were to be true. I found that in the best of cases, they've been able to get an RNA molecule that can copy about a tenth of itself, about a tenth of the bases. But to do that, even to get that limited re replicase capacity, requires a huge amount of information in the form of very precisely sequenced bases that have been sequenced by an intelligent agent, na namely the ribozyme engineer. So what exactly does that simulate? Well, some might say it simulates the role of intelligent design, but setting that point aside, it certainly shows that the RNA world does not account for the origin of information. Again, it too presupposes information just to get that primitive molecular replicator going. So this, this whole approach of relying on natural selection, whether with simple organisms or simpler molecules, has run into a very, uh, very imposing uh, obstacle. 